Hi, I am Dr. Harish. I am a general pediatrician and a consultant pediatric interventional cardiologist at uh, JOS Center. I have done my MD pediatrics and uh, fellowship in pediatric cardiology and post that I have been practicing uh, interventional pediatric cardiology and general pediatrics. Suspected the heart disease, like I said, can be uh, easily evaluated either by just the clinical uh, uh, symptoms. We will just evaluate accordingly and then we will see the signs. There will be different heart sounds. And apart from the clinical examination, we have do a routine mandatorily, we will have to do an echo, a 2D echo with a Doppler, so which will give us a basic outline about the, what the underlying heart structural abnormalities are. In addition to that, we will see what the connections into the heart are, whether it is normally connected, whether there is any leakage in the heart, whether there is any blockage in the valves. So all these things can be uh, easily seen by a 2D uh, echo and uh, it can be done for all the age groups and it is going to be like uh, non-invasive. So any child can undergo this kind of a test without having any side effects uh, by the test. So in addition to that, there are various other modalities. It could be an X-ray, it could be an uh, uh, X-ray of the chest, an ECG or in addition, depending upon the presentation, there may be a need for additional investigations like an angiogram. Uh, that is, uh, we do a cardiac catheterization test in if there is a suspected heart disease and then diagnosed and then we need to have further more conclusion. So we do all this test. Yes. And maybe sometimes an MRI or a cardiac CT. So all these things may be required. Yes.